Hi, welcome to today's vinyasa flow. For today's practice, you are going to want a block or a thick, sturdy book. Shoebox works just fine. And we are going to get started in a child's pose. So heels together, toes touching, knees as wide or as narrow as feels good in your body. And a little more active child's pose here. So maybe inching your fingertips forward just a bit more, creating space along your side body. Pressing into both hands equally. Give yourself just a moment or two to settle in. And then keeping your lower body right where it is, start to walk your hands back in towards your body and then taking your hands behind your heels, fingertips point towards your toes Lift your hips here for a mini camel, just as high as feels good. Head hangs heavy, bit of a counter stretch for our hips, and then gently lowering back down, walking your hands forward to a tabletop. Starting here with some cat cow, inhale to drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, cat, round your spine. One more round here. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, round your spine. Then returning to a neutral tabletop, pulling your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, right arm sweeps to the sky. Exhale, right arm comes under left arm, little thread the needle. Right ear, right cheek can rest on the mat, creating some space behind that right shoulder blade. Full round of breath. And then returning to that tabletop position. Other side, inhale, left arm sweeps to the sky. Exhale, bring that arm under your right. Left ear, left cheek resting on the mat, creating space behind that left shoulder blade. Breathe here. Allow yourself to unwind, returning to that tabletop shape, and then extend your right leg long behind you. Flexing your toes here, engage that right glute. Then right toes come to the mat, and just gently rocking back and forth, pressing into your heel as you rock back to stretch out that calf. We're gonna be doing some balancing shapes working towards half moon today. So it's giving our calf a little love. Gently bringing right knee back to the mat. Then other side, left leg extends long first, engaging that glute, flex your toes real active here. Then left toes to the mat, rocking back and forth. Press into your heel and then crown of the head reaches forward. Again, focusing on that sensation in your calf. Pausing here to bring left knee back to the mat. Then walk your hands forward, just about a handprint. Tuck your toes, lift your hips for down dog. Heels reach towards the mat, hips towards the sky. And then rocking forward to plank for a moment. I've had a few of you reaching out about how really long your down dog should be. About the same as your plank position. So find your plank and then lift your hips up and back. That's typically a pretty good starter for our down dog. You can always shorten or extend if you need to. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Bend your right knee, opening your hip towards the right, scorpion dog. Breathe here. Then right foot steps between your hands, low lunge. Left hand plants into mat, or you can bring the block to raise the floor towards you. Right arm opens up towards the sky. Revolved low lunge here for just a moment. Right hand back to the mat. Step back to down dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. 
Bend your left knee, hip opens up towards the left. Breathe here. Then bring that left foot between your hands. Again, planting right foot into mat or block, rather right hand into mat or block. Left arm sweeps to the sky. Revolved low lunge. Fingertips reaching. Then left hand back to the mat. Step back to your down dog. Inhale to bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hisasana, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, fold all the way through. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. You can add a back bend if it feels good. Exhale, fold all the way through, head hangs heavy. Inhale, half lift, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to your plank on toes or knees. Inhale, puff up the back of your heart. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck your toes, press into your palms, lifting for cobra. Breathe here. Returning to the mat, elbows stay tucked in. Inhale, press up to your plank. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Give yourself a few rounds of breath here. You're always welcome to return to tabletop, maybe taking some cat cows or child's pose. Finding what feels good for you today. If you're ever unsure, just try something out. You can always change your mind. From down dog, Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold, hang heavy. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach to the sky. Exhale, Tadasana, hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching up once more. Back bend if it feels good. Exhale, fold all the way through, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to that plank position. Inhale and plank, puff up the back of your heart. Exhale, Chaturanga or the mat. Inhale for up dog or cobra, pulling your heart through. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Heels reach towards the mat, hips towards the sky, pressing into both hands equally. Give yourself a full round of breath here. Next, inhale, lift right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. Warrior two, back foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Cartwheel your arms up to shoulder height. Inhale, right palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior, bring that right arm overhead. Inhale, extended side angle, left arm comes overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two, keep that bend in your knee. Inhale, palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, extended side angle, left arm reaching forward. Exhale, back to your warrior two. Straighten your front leg, turn your toes to face long edge of the mat, wide-legged forward fold, head hangs heavy here. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Turn your toes, walk your hands back to the top of the mat, pausing in low lunge. Left hand plants into mat or block, right arm sweeps to the sky. Revolved low lunge once more. Right hand comes back to the mat. Step back to down dog. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. 
Warrior two on the other side. Back foot parallel with the short edge of the mat. Arms at shoulder height. Inhale, left palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior, left arm overhead. Inhale, extended side angle, right arm overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior, scoop that energy back. Inhale, extended side angle, right arm reaches overhead. Exhale to your warrior two. Straightening that front leg, turn your toes to long edge of the mat, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, wide-legged half lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Turn your toes, walk your hands back to the top of the mat. Low lunge. Right hand plants into block or mat. Left arm opens up towards the sky. Revolved low lunge, breathing here. Left hand comes back to the mat. Step back to down dog. Give yourself a full round of breath in down dog. Pressing into both hands equally. Hips reach towards the sky. On your inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute, reaching tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up once more. Exhale, fold all the way through, head hangs heavy. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, plant your hands, step just your left foot back this time. Crescent lunge, all toes pointing towards the top of the mat, arms sweep towards the sky. Breathe here. Draw your hands to heart center, keeping that strong base. Start to shift your weight forward towards that bent knee, and then find your warrior three. Back foot can be a kickstand, maybe it hovers just above the mat, or imagining your body is a capital T shape pressing your heel towards the back wall. Then hands come to the mat in front of you, finding standing splits. Now again, we're lifting that back heel, but you're focusing on pointing your nose towards your knee so that head hangs heavy. Full breath here. Then bring left foot to meet right. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, this time right foot steps back. Again, all your toes point towards the top of the mat, then arms lift towards the sky. Feel strong in your base here, make adjustments as you need to. Then draw your hands to heart center. Start to shift that weight towards your front foot. Warrior three, other side. Embracing the wobbles and wiggles that come with this shape. Pressing into that standing foot. Back heel presses towards the back wall wherever you are. Then nice and slow, hands come to the mat. Standing splits. Again, head hangs heavy here. Lifting that back heel, but not concerning ourselves that we don't look like we're doing the splits. That is totally fine. If you do, good for you, but that is not my body. When you're ready, right foot comes down to meet left, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Draw your hands to heart center. Give yourself about three rounds of breath here. Heart pulls towards your thumbs. Elbows press away from each other. Eyes can soften or close. Crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Nice and active. Pressing down through both feet equally. Next round of breath, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold all the way through. 
Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to plank position. Inhale in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Taking time here, you'll wanna make sure your blocks it. Likely it's highest setting right towards the top of the mat. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands, warrior two. Back foot parallel to short edge of the mat. Find your base here. And then we'll start to shift towards half moon. Using our right hand on the block. You're welcome to just teeter totter here, practicing maybe touching the block lifting your back foot, or you can pause, sinking into that shape. Left fingertips lift, left toes flex towards your face. Gaze might be down at your hand. You can play with bringing it towards neutral, gazing right in front of you, or, or I should say rather to the side. Or if you're feeling fancy, Gaze might drift up towards that left hand, a bit more of a balance challenge. Left fingertips can continue to reach towards the sky or for a little more shoulder opening. I like to bring my left hand behind low back, yogi chicken wing, which is not a technical term, but should be. Just gently encouraging that left shoulder back. One more breath here. Bend into your front knee, returning to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. Inhale in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. Warrior two on the other side. Back foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Again, allowing yourself here just to take care of yourself. You might practice just shifting that weight, tap the block, foot lifts off the mat, or finding your full expression of half moon. Right fingertips reach, right toes flexed, hips pointing towards the wall. Breathe here. Right hand can always come to low back. That little yogi chicken wing, if it feels good in your shoulder. Again, listening to your body. Embracing the wobbles and wiggles and maybe just fully falling out of the pose as many times as you need to. We've got just one more breath here before we bend into front knee, returning to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. Inhale and plank. Last chance for chaturanga if you like it. If not, we'll meet right back in down dog. Inhale to bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Now you might want to take that block behind your heels. I have mine at its medium setting. And then taking a bit of a wider stance for Malasana, heels on the mat, maybe toes splayed off. Reach your arms to the sky. Draw your hands to heart center, sinking down for Malasana. Maybe your seat finds that block. You might prefer this pose without the block, or you might stop a little higher up in your squat, whatever feels good for your hips. Pressing your elbows into your knees. Weight towards the outside edges of your feet. Crown of the head reaches tall. Give yourself two full, slow rounds of breath here. And that's complete for you.
can release your hands, releasing that block from under your sit bones. Then we'll make our way towards a forward fold, a seated forward fold, I should say. Legs extend long in front of you. And then allowing your body to hinge forward, walking your hands towards your ankles, towards your toes here, but not really concerning ourselves with our, where our hands end up, pulling your heart towards your thighs. Spine can round here. Active in this forward fold, encouraging our heart to pull towards our thighs. Taking your next full round of breath. Walk your hands in towards your body, lifting your heart and head out of that shape. Soles the feet plant into the mat. Then shift your hips forward just a bit, taking that block with you. Lower down to your back body. Hips, shoulders, head, all supported by the mat here. And then lifting your hips just high enough. Slide that block at maybe it's medium or lowest setting under your sacrum supported bridge. Sacrum is about towards the top of your glutes, right below that low back. Feeling that support here. Heels press into the mat. Hands can rest on your belly or down by your hips, whatever feels best for you. I should say down by your block as your hips are lifted. Breathe here. You are welcome to stay right here. If supported waterfall sounds good and feels good for you, you can start to lift your knees towards your chest. Pausing here, just making sure you're supported, adjusting as you need to and then extend your legs up towards the sky. I'll have us here for about five rounds of breath, but you're more than welcome to come out earlier if your body's asking you to. You might roll out your ankles, maybe point and flex the feet, or you can just hang in stillness. Slowly begin to bend knees back towards your chest. Soles the feet come back to the mat. And then lifting your hips just high enough to slide that block out from under you. Lower your hips back down. Pull your right knee in towards your chest. Left leg extends long. Encouraging that right knee towards your right shoulder and then guide your right knee over towards the left. Recline supine twist. Right arm can come out to a T or a cactus shape. Gaze can drift over that right shoulder or up at the ceiling. Giving yourself a few rounds of breath here just to settle into the shape. Waiting for your next inhale. Use that to guide yourself back towards center. Right knee hugs into the chest. Pulling left knee up to meet it for just a moment. Right leg extends long. Left knees hug towards that shoulder. Then guide your left knee over towards the right. Breathe here. Gaze can drift over your left shoulder or up at the ceiling if that feels better in your neck. Allowing each breath to help you soften a bit more into the shape.
Next inhale, pull yourself back towards center. Once more, both knees hug into the chest. Maybe your forehead comes up to meet the knees, a nice little yogi hug, tight ball. And then extend into Shavasana. Legs extend long, arms hang heavy, allowing your body to take up space here. Reminding ourselves this pose is just as important as any other pose we did today. And I'll let you know when it's time to come out. body can remain still. If it feels good and is available to you today, you're more than welcome to stay in this place of rest. If it's time to close out your practice, start with gentle movement. You can wiggle fingers and toes. Any gentle movement that feels good to wake up your body. Maybe a nice good morning stretch, fingertips overhead, toes opposite direction. And then when you're ready, guide yourself to a fetal position on either side, taking your time, allowing yourself to pause there for a moment before you gently press up to a comfortable, easy seat. Eyes can stay soft or closed, embracing these last few moments of our practice to feel into some gratitude you showed up today and honored your body with movement and with rest and allowing yourself to feel that importance. We'll close with a collective breath. You can inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for being part of this rad community and I hope you have a beautiful day.